Autobots transform. Today we're looking at the LG Optimus S, not Optimus Prime. This is a $50 phone after a $100 mail-in rebate for Sprint. So if you're a Sprint subscriber and you're on a budget, this is a fantastic option. The Optimus S is one of the best mid-range phones we've seen all year and it has Android 2.2. Without any further ado, let's look at the Sprint LG Optimus S. The LG Optimus S is a very heartwarming, comfy little phone. It has rounded edges that fit in your pocket ergonomically and it's just very comfortable to hold. Rather than a band of haptic feedback buttons on the bottom, we get actual tangible buttons, which we preferred over the haptic feedback buttons. The screen is a 3.2 inch HVGA that is actually pretty darn bright and graphics look pretty delightful on this little thing. Although it's a plastic screen, the LG Optimus S's capacitive touchscreen sensitivity is fantastic. Another nifty thing about the S is that it has an integrated micro SD card slot with a two gigabyte micro SD card implanted and ready to go from the box, but it has a 32 gigabyte capacity. The rest of the phone consists of a power lock switch, pretty large volume control, and uh, voice command and camera buttons. There's also a 3.5 millimeter audio jack on the top, and in the back you'll see the diminutive 3.2 megapixel camera without a flash. The LG Optimus S is one of the few phones in its class to have Android 2.2 out of the box. However, it does not support Flash 10.1, so you can't watch videos in browsers. But this phone has Wi-Fi hotspots for up to five devices via 3G connection. And the phone also has Bluetooth 2.1. It has Google right out of the box. And the biggest news is that it has Sprint ID. So let's take a little look at this bad boy. A day in the life of the LG Optimus S. Here we are. And no matter what ID we happen to be in, you can see it's still Android, very Android oriented. We have the call button on the bottom and menu in the middle. And we have our ID selection button there, which we'll get to in a minute. If we want to add any widget, shortcut, folder, wallpaper, all we have to do is press and hold the screen and we can remove items that way too. We still have the drop down menu here, status bar, and we are in the auto enthusiast ID. So you can see we have auto week, Dot com, car and driver, road and track. Um, we have sports updates here. We also have Andy Car, Car Matey. So this is a pre-selected ID by Sprint based on what it thinks the car enthusiast will enjoy. Now if we want to switch IDs, all we have to do is go here to our preloaded IDs that we did via the 3G network because you can't do it over wireless. And let's, let's look at socially connected here. So it's easy as just swapping IDs. Just there we go. Now we're into our socially connected. And we have Tweetcaster. We have Facebook. Um, we can, we have Skype there. Pandora, Shazam. There's Pixel Pipe for um, image upload, instant image upload. Here's some games. So this is geared toward social networking news updates celebrity tweet and uh, we could also add whatever we want from the Android market here so if we want myspace the actual Twitter application we can just get that here from the market here is a look at our browser one of our reviews zoom in here And we can also pinch the zoom out. One great thing about this phone is that it supports 3D gaming. It's a 3D chip. And the performance is very good. But my performance is very bad. And swipe is actually pretty accurate. Call quality was not the best, voices at times sounded muffled, and there was just a slight crackling static in certain environments, but it's not the end of the world. 
it really won't bother most people. The battery life is about mediocre. If you're really heavy on your applications and your internet browsing, the battery is going to drain and you probably won't have anything left by the end of the day, just like we did. Unfortunately, digital imaging is not as strong on the Optimus S. Uh, this camera has a 3.2 megapixel camera with no flash. Megapixels don't mean anything, but we noticed a lot of over sharpening in bright light and it had one of the poorest low light sensitivities of all cameras and without a flash that's just forget about it. Video quality is 640 by 480 VGA. The frame rate is something silly like 17, average of 17 frames per second. So don't expect anything fantabulous in that department either. So our final answer with the LG Optimus S for Sprint, this is one of the fastest phones in its class. For $50, it is definitely a must look. Google, Android Market, Wi-Fi hotspots, and we get Sprint IDs. Unfortunately, this phone doesn't have the best camera, but if that's not a huge issue to you, then definitely check out the LG Optimus S for Sprint, one of the best mid-range phones in its class. For InfoSync World, I'm Mike Perlman.